on your mind? Did you dream about something last night? Is that even possible? Unless... It wasn't an ordinary dream? Oh, child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours! And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where child went? Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners! Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons! What's the plan for today? Let's go! It's time to start working! If that guard Fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful! Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a wasting. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Hello, shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Oh, hey there! We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainville, always calls me Chief. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. <laughs> If there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. All right, Chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. <laughs> Did you just ask about... the rules? <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me Chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Truth is, you two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? You mean, even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, he disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. What the? How could that happen? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Wait, are you thinking that it was... Oh? You... Uh, listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? <sighs> Alright, if you insist.
just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Okay, let's see if we can find any new leads! Oh, hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so nervous. Sorry, I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes... Wait, seriously? Oh, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. What? F please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? the Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of His Grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. Huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. <sighs> Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of His Grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it's- Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! Huh? 
here. Let's get to bed early. Hmm. Maybe we can make some progress in our investigation today. What do you have planned for us? will be in a better mood today. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasting. Oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Sh sure. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. Okay. the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Oh, I'm on exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon's little body can't handle this much longer. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working non-stop for three days now? And now it's lunchtime! Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already! Paimon wonders what we'll get today! Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal! Wait! What? What, what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same! Is this stuff... meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre! What kind of chef would make food like this? What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? No, stop right there. Paimon gets what you mean, just don't say it. Hey, isn't that Woolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it. Hey, Woolsey, have a moment? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look, does it seem... normal to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You'd better hurry up and shout out. Choice. 
Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Yeah, Paima felt like some of the people here were a little strange the moment she saw them. I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. Little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Huh. I wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah, the rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch, and nobody knows where Siege Wing gets off to. Huh, that's actually really strange. Siege Wing's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? <sighs> Forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. A research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Siege Wing? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. The Melisee perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Whoa, this all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. And as for the notebook, let's take it.
Sea Dream? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Hello, traveler. Paimon? Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Enjoy? Uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Uh, are you talking about pets or people? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh, that does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Take care of your body and make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, traveler. Hmm, maybe we can make some progress in our investigation today. What do you have planned for us? in a while. Oh! Just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Sure! If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the Pancration Ring! Grab yourself a welfare meal. Huh?
Hello. You must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Okay, great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. But the second you mess up the order, you'll lose. Game over. The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Thanks for your patronage, mate. Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a pancre- Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. He's got a point. Coupons, we could probably huh. bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like, huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What? what? I never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules. You're not just strong fighters, seems you're pretty perceptive, too. Uh, might as well tell you about it since you already know that much. Plus, I Think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it that serious? Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. So the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight. But if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died, or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. So you mean, it's like a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, 
Do you think that boxer was... Huh? You're not serious. Art, look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Seems we had a productive day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. Maybe we can make some progress in our investigation today. What do you have planned for us? After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. Good to kick back and relax once in a while. Oh! Just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Sure! If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time. Hmm? Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match. Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ. Le Grappler versus a contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... Huh? F uh, for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... Oh, no need, no need. Um, we're aware that we're going to lose coupons. All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember... No refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it! Just shut up and take our coupons! Ooh, we woke up so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. Hey, Traveler! Paimon! Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Huh? A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? <laughs> ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? Alright! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! Huh? What is 
it? Are you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek too. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. No way! Get that stuff away from Paimon! Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? What do you have planned for us? Nice to slack off a little. Less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. One client, two clients, three clients. No way to send it all out. Then maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I I'm not! Of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Uh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that Duke. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just gonna stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf, after all. His house, his rules.
I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I, did anything happen? Well, the next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are you both still okay? Wait, are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm, yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling t We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Pyron thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the forges of Meropede. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow. And some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. Time to show me what you got! <laughs> Paimon's gonna 
take her time and save her every bite! What would you like to do this afternoon? After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it! But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Paimon oh, still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? Really? Oh, then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so... many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. 